it's always really exciting when you get to show up to work to a brand new two bedroom floor plan that has recently hit the market just kind of chilling out back of your office 2022 forest river sandpiper model 388 bhrd two bedroom bath and a half floor plan with sleeping room for about eight people we're going to start on the outside of the coach going over its different features before heading inside so if you're new here welcome to the channel hit that subscribe button down below and let's get started coming out you 43 feet five inches long with five total slide outs is this two bedroom bath and a half 2022 forest river sandpiper model 388 bhrd five total slides with a dry with a 13,719 pounds and speaking of weight here on the bed of your truck kingpin weight of 2115 pounds here in the front of the coach you got a fully molded fiberglass front cap and i like how they bring down these longer led light strips on both sides plus the docking light down there to assist when hooking up this massive camper absolutely massive just shy of 44 feet long 96 inches wide and it's level from a six point hydraulic leveling system there's a shot of the front legs you can't get the coach generator prepped and there's a shot of the front storage compartment which would house that generator if you decided to go that route all the controls to operate the hydraulic leveling system are found inside the battery storage compartment everything within direct line of sight so when you're operating maybe raising and lowering this kingpin off of your truck you're not bending over to see it you're not putting your head inside of a storage compartment everything's easy to access water management system found inside of this pass-through storage the water lines will come up through the floor of the camper connecting to the water connections here black tank flush and there's a shot of the gray and black handle inline filter and just get a shot of the pass-through absolutely massive and i like when they put the spare tire up here it makes it easier to get battery disconnect switch and that's going to be a 30 amp charger to control the 190 watt solar panel on the roof i want to give you a shot of this baggage door is about two inches thick with slam latches and that is the 10 gallon gas or electric hot water heater but we're gonna head on to the other side right now coming around to the main side of the coach 15 foot awning and the winds seem to be picking up does a really good job of just kind of flexing the awning bends here and here so you can tip it down on one side to allow water to drain this coach is going to have four different camera connections one over the door the blind side marker light up on the front has power wire there for one one on each side plus there as well as one in the back it's a great system to have if you've ever had an opportunity to work with one solid step entry steps of course you can tell they flip it inside the door ceiling door the door height here closer to six foot three over 30 inches wide and then give you this hydraulic cylinder to assist with raising and lowering these steps it can seem to be intimidating if when they're that big and it's that high up there having that hydraulic cylinder makes it that much easier this coach is going to be resting on a 12 inch i-beam construction and you do have a drop frame here on the front and a little drop frame at the back which gives you this awesome pass-through storage here radiant foil found on the roof and the floor fully enclosed underbelly with these new 4x8 drop-in sheets which makes it that much easier to work on the underbelly of these models and again slam latch doors really nice TV connections if you decided to have one are behind the entry door there and the TV would be resting inside the storage compartment outdoor speakers there's one Coming around to the back, coach is going to be resting on two 7,000 pound Lippert axles. There's a shot of the front, excuse me, the middle leveling jacks, and there's the rear. LP quick disconnect if you decided to have an outdoor grill. That's what that tag identifies there. And just get a look at this pass through storage. They've wrapped a net around so it kind of separates the two compartments. 800 pound low capacity on this rear pull out tray. And there's the other mount 
for that backup camera. 250 pound low capacity on the ladder on the back. Fully walkable roof. This coach has a 5 8 tonguing groove construction on the floor, a 3 8 decking on the roof. Just trying to give you a good shot of all the storage compartment this thing has. Power connections are back here, and you're going to have about a 25 foot cord. Sewer connections, you got two different ones. One's behind the tire, the other one's going to be in the front. And speaking of sewer, in order to reach the rear set of legs, or excuse me, the pull handles, you must reach your hand through the metal skirting to get to that second set of controls, which are gonna be mainly functioning this half bath back here in the back. Vacuum bonded side walls and slide floors. Sandpiper luxury edition. Here inside the Sandpiper, five total slides with two opposing themselves down here in the living room, opening it up, providing you with around 14, maybe 15 feet of walking space. And I say down here because the back of the coach, as well as the front step up to either your guest bedroom, private office, or possibly you could utilize that area up there for your main living area, utilizing this area down here for your kitchen slash dining room area. Stainless steel appliances, and this is an LG refrigerator. 22 cubic foot and there's a built-in inverter just to power this enormous refrigerator while traveling up and down the road 30 inch microwave lg brand again and check out the size of this oven four additional burners on the top and this is more of a residential size and they even give you a picture of a turkey on the front to show you it's just absolutely enormous storage for days let's point this out for, for you Florida slide height ceiling pantry. Over here, you got a Florida ceiling pantry, as well as over here, so three different places to store all of your stuff. But I guess when you have sleeping room for eight or nine, you need storage space to cook for a larger family. That's definitely one thing this model will provide you. Sitting on the sleeper sofa, show you where the television's at. Kind of looking off to a half right sound bar underneath that 50 inch led tv and down below you're gonna have a gray stone fireplace producing around 5,000 bts of heat but if you don't camp in the winter you can turn the heat off and just utilize the lights to assist some of your guests that are maybe sleeping down here inside of this area here kitchen island in the middle with solid surface countertops with a blue accent light found underneath and they give you these two added leaflets to extend some of the prepping range of this model. Stainless steel drop-in sink with a residential style faucet there. And coming around, you'll have three different pull-out drawers and even a place for your trash can found under here. Slam resistant latches found all the way throughout the hardware, all your cabinetry inside of the model. Slide box height of six foot four, and that's gonna be a sleeper sofa there. I'll let it out closer towards the end to show you how much walk around space you'll possibly have all the windows that I've had open right now are breeze windows and they do have 80% tint. Blackout shades, or should I just say roller shades, on all the windows. And this one here is just a picture window. I left it down just to give you an idea of what those roller shades look like. But definitely plenty of natural sunlight coming through the model. Legless table with four additional chairs. And it's legless meaning there's no legs, it's attached to the wall which is great for taller guys. You know, we don't have to worry about bumping your knees when sitting at the table. Flush mounted slide with some carpet found inside the slide boxes. Thomas Paine collection furniture and it's gray in color. Close up of it. Theater seats found over here. Cup holders to the left and to the right. LED lights found underneath it as well. Some additional store space up above it. Glass accent on these cabinets here. This coach has two Coleman Mach 15K Whisper Quiet Air Units and that one's running. Both of them are running at the moment so you'll be able to listen throughout the video to see how the sound quality is for you. Heading upstairs you got the bathroom on the left and directly ahead is going to be your master suite. Bedroom slide giving you around two and a half feet of moving space. Wardrobe directly in the front gooseneck area and it is trimmed out with a glass accent. Custom 60 by 80 queen size bed and then you've got about over here Maybe a good 12 inches of space to move around That's really nice. You've got a shelf also provided 
Looks like you got 110 and 12 volt outlets on both sides of the bed, which is really friendly for a CPAP. So you've got all this additional shelving over here as well. Really, really nice. One thermostat there on the wall to control this 15K air unit here. And there's a better shot of how much space you really do have. Looks like they've trimmed out a spot for a television, but it really limits you to only maybe a 32 inch television there. But honestly, rather leave that off the wall and let me mount whatever I choose. Stackable washer and dryer could be installed in the gooseneck closet area. And again, that is trimmed with a glass accent. And you've got some also shelving that's cut out in the front with a Wi-Fi range extender. Has anybody ever used that? I've got one customer that has bought the additional accessories and he's given it a try. I haven't had too much feedback on it just yet. Ceiling height in the bathroom, right at 77 inches tall. Three, two piece plastic shower with three different glass doors there to close. You got about a three inch step up to get into the shower, but it is a flush mounted shower. So you will have the entire 77 inches of shower height. Some additional cabinetry found over the toilet there. There's no medicine cabinet on the wall on this coach, which so just a mirror mounted to the wall with some additional linen over closet storage area here. And there's a shot of the sink plus the storage underneath. Not too big, but maybe room for some additional bathroom accessories. Here back down in the kitchen area, I've gone ahead and let out the sleeper sofa to show you how much walk around space you'll possibly have if you're sleeping upwards of seven or eight, maybe nine people. In relation to size, it's not quite as big as a queen size bed, but it's definitely bigger than a full. And with there being two opposing slides and the kitchen island, you definitely have plenty of room to walk all the way through without even disturbing any of your guests. Heading to the back of the coach, we have three steps up, providing you a ceiling height right at 78 inches high. Sleepy room for about five individuals, or maybe you can rearrange the whole entire room to better fit your needs. Maybe turning this either into a private office or just utilizing for a bunkhouse. Or even I had one customer in the past that turned this area here into his living room. Here to the left, permanently mounted, are two teddy bear style bunks, 74 inches long, 32 inches wide. And I do apologize, I forgot to pull out one of the three drawers there, but they are also about 32 inches long. Here in the back of the coach, you could possibly mount up to a 48 inch television and to the left and to the right, you're gonna have two hanging style closets and four different pull out drawers located down here in the bottom. There's a shot of how deep those are, probably around 12 inches deep. And even give this cool little storage place with this net, maybe to toss a couple ball gloves. Coming around to the other slide, this really cool sofa that has a couple different options for you. Let me get this door out of the way here. Either turning this into a sleeper, maybe room for one teenager, honestly, maybe two smaller kids. You do have 110 and 12 volt outlets also provided. And you can also flip up the cup holders in the middle, turning it into just one sofa. And in order to lay this flat, this little knob here, you're just gonna pull this out, which is gonna slide the whole entire sofa forward. Grab the back of the sofa here until it clicks, and then slightly let it down. Turning this just into this one nice little sleeping area. Kind of nice, it's really fluffy actually. Again, another teddy bear size mattress up on the top, probably around the six foot range there. More additional shelving provided over here. 110 outlets, you can see them as I fan through the room. But up here next to the door, let me open this back up. So you can tell the door still opens up with that laid flat. Your guest private half bath. There is a medicine cabinet also provided in here. Just plenty of room still to change your clothes if you're needing just to separate yourself from the rest. Medicine cabinet also provided for some additional storage for all of your guests, bathroom accessories, 110 outlet, and you got a porcelain foot flush toilet down there as well. And as well, there is a vent up in the ceiling. At date and time of making the video, MSRP on this model of $102,859 for pricing and availability. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can go back to our website and view more additional photos. Leave me a thumbs up. They always help me. Also, leave a comment. Tell me where you're from. Tell me what you like and dislike about this model. Come see us.